The latest on the vaping crisis, New York's Attorney General is set to make a major announcement this morning as we get an exclusive look inside the lab in upstate New York that discovered a possible link between vaping and serious illness. Gio Benitez and our cameras were the first ones allowed inside. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning. Yeah, we're talking about an additive that the CDC now calls a chemical of concern, in part because when it's inhaled, it may cause chemical burns in the lungs. Now this morning, for the first time, we're getting an exclusive look at the lab where scientists made that critical discovery. This morning, ABC News getting unprecedented access inside the lab at the center of the vaping investigation. So now this is the lab where you first discovered the vitamin E acetate. The Wadsworth Center in Albany, New York, making a stunning public health discovery. Scientists showing us they're safe, containing samples from more than 50 patients. Here, they isolate the liquid, spin it, put it into a vial, then load it into a specialized machine to extract the oils. Look in this screen. You see that giant peak? It surprised every scientist here. It represents a potentially dangerous additive in some marijuana vaping products, vitamin E acetate. So this is the vitamin E acetate. It's the same consistency as, as cannabis oil. It's a very thick, oily product. I mean, it's amazing to think that this is what's ending up in your lungs. It is. Dr. Howard Zucker is New York State's Commissioner of Health. We're hearing from so many viewers who say, I just am vaping because I'm trying to get off cigarettes. I'm trying to stop smoking. What do you say to them? There are other alternatives to stopping uh, smoking cigarettes. I would say that I would not be vaping uh, anything that you are unaware of what is in that product. And we should tell you, when it came to legal medical marijuana, the lab did not find any vitamin E acetate. They found it overwhelmingly in black market, black market products that they tested. But still, these experts told us, we don't know what we don't know. A combination of factors could lead to these illnesses. This investigation is just at the beginning. Far from over. Yeah. 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 Without That's a doubt. Stuff. All right. Thank you so much, Gio. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.